Hi everybody and welcome uh, to a video that I thought I'd put on because um, a lot of people have been asking uh, what kind of tools we use for earwax removal and what you can expect when you come to the clinic. So I thought I would give you a quick whistle stop tour and show you some of the instruments that we use actually in real size because when you see them on these videos you think wow they're massive but actually really 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 tiny. Um, so I thought I would give you some perspective on what we actually use during the procedures. What you might have seen in the past are these otoscopes. These are kind of the old fashioned ones that we use in emergencies. Computers do break sometimes. Um, so yeah, those are the ones that you kind of your GP would use to look inside your ear. And then what we use to film our videos is this little camera, it's not an endoscope. And as you can see there, it can be cast onto the screen there. And what we also have is a larger screen there. And this is attached to this little camera here. So when you're having your ear looked inside, you'll be able to see it on the screen there. There I am, hello. Uh, so how we do the procedure is using these, which are called uh, loops. These two are microscopes and they've got a torch attached to them. I'm going to press this button here that shines a bright light inside the ear canal so we can see what we are doing. And a couple of the tools we use. So this is the suction machine. This is called a Hospivac. Now, you might not know this, but they're actually all used off-label. And by that, I mean that they're not specifically designed for earwax removal. There actually isn't one that exists. So what they've done, they, they use these other machines that are designed for other things like aspirating body fluids during surgery or even for liposuction. I believe this one is used for liposuction quite commonly uh, because if someone decided to invent a machine for earwax removal specifically, they would invent the same thing that already exists. So technically it's used off label, which we explain to all the patients. So this works by that button there and that's attached to this suction tube. Now, as you can see, it's pretty small and if I can just stick my finger on the end of it you get some kind of idea as to the oh fell down don't worry I'm not going to use this one some idea as to the type level of suction that you get can you see there it just gently pulls away there now what you'll notice I'll take this off and you get a better idea of the power it can generate so when I put my finger on there See, it stays there. And what happens is pressure there. Now this is why you might not see them moving sometimes, uh, just holding the suction tube in place. Now what we're waiting for is when we get a perfect seal and a grip, you'll see the power goes up then. So we're often waiting for the power to go up before we can then start gently pulling them away. So that's the suction unit and it ends up in these tanks here. Now that tank is in use, as you can see. That's a lovely stuff at the bottom of there. Uh, that's a backup for when that one's full. Now, the other tools that we use. Now, this is the irrigator, uh, the Propulse. Now, you might have, um, if you've ever been to your GP practice, seen your district nurse, this is probably the most common one that they use. And the theory behind this one is you put this under your ear and using this, it squirts a fine jet of water into your ear and the wax falls out into the cup. Fairly straightforward, not used very often anymore, but it can be quite handy sometimes. So here's the tools that we often use. So this is the thermometer to make sure we get the water to the correct temperature. Uh, nobody's uh, very keen on having cold water inserted into the ear or hot water, it's got to be just right. So these are the specular. Now, we put these into the ear canal. They serve a couple of purposes. Uh, it straightens out the bend, uh, can make it easier to see inside. And it also um, just slightly opens it up, if it's particularly narrow. So there's two sizes there. And it also protects the ear canal wall, which is very, very sensitive from the uh, tip of the suction uh, tube which obviously can be quite sharp and you do not want that touch your ear canal, it's very sensitive. Now I've put a pen here so you can get some kind of perspective on how tiny these things are. Um, 
So the first one we have there, that's the ear hook. Oh, I'd say Bart's hook as it's commonly known as. Uh, really good for um, really dry wax that you just can't get a good grip of with the suction tube. Um, then you've got the infamous Jobson horn, which as you can see is tiny and that's quite good. Um, more so towards the uh, outer aspect of the ear if you're trying to scrape some like uh, some dead skin away from it. And it's good for, uh, for scooping out some particularly troublesome ones. Now underneath that, that is used for unblocking the suction tube. Quite commonly they can get blocked. So you pop that in, a bit like Dyna Rod, and it, it can unblock the tube. Um, now these, crocodile forceps. And as you can see, the tip of them is tiny. Like I said, they'll look massive on these videos, but they're actually really, really, really small. Um, and underneath that, we have got a suction tube. This is the standard size Zollner suction tube. And there is a fine end. Now when they say fine end, they are absolutely tiny. If we can just see the size of my finger next to it. So like I said, they will seem massive on these uh, videos, but there's such fine movement, small movements involved in this, that uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, so you can see the size of that. Yeah, it's actually one millimeter in circumference around it absolutely tiny uh, so here's the rest of our clinic our clinical waste our sink and that is our clinic and what's involved in earwax removal hoping to get some more live uh, videos recorded soon because i know you all love watching these you bunch of weirdos um, so take care of yourself and i will see you all soon bye bye